to another video. I am so excited for this video because this video is my first monthly collab. Now I've seen Sarai aka Melon Doodle and a couple other people do a monthly collab with each other and I thought it looked so much fun so I wanted to get a couple girls and you know go ahead and start a monthly collab. So this monthly collab is with Sundrop, Jellyfish Studios, and Drawing with Nicolina. These people are so wonderful and I will have their links and description down below so you guys can go check them out and from further on I will have their links in description since we do have our own little art communities since we are kind of working together. So Jellyfish picked the first prompt. Now instead of a prompt she picked more of a challenge which I'm super excited about. Now she saw this on Pinterest but originally Drawing with Waffles made it. It's Pinterest chooses what I draw. I was actually going to film this video a little while back but I just never got around to it. So thank you, Jellyfish. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type something up, either hairstyles, hair colors, um, outfits, shirts, blah, blah, blah. And whatever the first thing comes up, I will have to incorporate in a character. I'm going to be drawing a girl sin. That's easiest for me. So enough of this long intro, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be typing up is hairstyles. All right. Okay, so it looks like the first hairstyle that came up and besides this, we have this hair. Oh, this is a video. I think a video will be hard to see. So I'm, the first thing I'm gonna do is this. So here it is. It's this like bubble kind of hairstyle, which I've seen this hairstyle before. So there's that one. All right, so now shirts. Okay, so it looks like besides the ad, the first thing that came up is this one with these tigers on it. It's this kind of nude colored shirt with three tigers on it. So that's what we have for the shirt. All right, next is we have bottoms. Oh, wow. Looks like we have these pink pants. Um, okay, so it looks like we have these pink pants here. The pink pants it is. Next thing is jewelry. Okay, so I think the first one that came up here, as you can see, I'm not, I'm not cheating. There's, there's nothing about it, so. The first one that came up is this one with pearls, a heart necklace, and some flowers. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> is this a video? Yes, that's a video. Okay, so the ones besides that that came up, besides the video, is these. This is a picture. It's like this Nikes, but they're plaid on the top of the shoe, and then the Nike symbols plaid. Those are actually really cute. And last thing, this is optional, but I'm going to do a purse. All right, so it looks like the first one we have is just a black purse. So the first thing that we have is this hairstyle. This is actually for jewelry, but we are just doing the hairstyle, so the bubble hairstyle. A tiger shirt, pink pants, um, this like jewelry stuff, <laughs> these plaid shoes, and this purse. All right, so the first phase that I see here is this one. So we're gonna follow this one and we're gonna try to do this skin color. All right, so let's start planning on my sketchbook. Okay, so I'm gonna start simple and just start drawing a body. Just gonna do this very messy because this is just our sketches before. I'm trying to do this one, this new body style. So maybe we can try this here. Yeah, it looks pretty oversized. Maybe you can do like a tuck in at the front or like a tie because that's kind of how it is in the picture. Prince <laughs> tail, his leg. <laughs> no, you cannot. I did not how to know how to draw tiger. So it looks like they're very tight fitting, like very tight fitting. And then up to like here, they're like. These jeans are actually really cute. Black purse. Let's try the jewelry. So we'll just have like a bunch of necklaces. Make sure to go for the heart one and this little circle one. I'll do like a side bubble maybe so you can actually see it. I, I don't draw ponytails, so this is honestly gonna be kind of hard for me. So this hasn't come out yet. This video hasn't come out yet because I actually filmed this video before this video, but this video is gonna come out first if that makes sense. But I did get oh hoo hoo brush markers. So, um, yeah, we're not gonna look too much into these. I do have a review coming on for that for my next video. But for the jeans, I think the best one would be this one, R10. Yes, 
we could start drawing our character, I guess, because, I mean, we kind of already have it figured out. So, let's go. Hey guys, so I'm going to be telling you what I thought during this drawing and, you know, just chatting. At first, when I saw these pants and this shirt and that I would have to pair these together, I wasn't very excited. First of all, I wasn't expecting to draw any animals in today's video. And second of all, these outfits, these two items of clothes didn't really go well together to make one whole outfit. So that's what kind of had me nervous and not very excited about putting these two items of clothing together. And you'll see what I kind of did so they can look a little better together um, when I get into the coloring. So for now, I'm just doing the sketch. I am trying to do different body types because all my body types are the same. And you know, all body types are different. So that's what I tried to do with this one. And I really like how it turned out. I'm adding that purse, of course. I don't know why I just wanted to add an extra little purse. And as you can see right here on the shirt, it had three tigers, but I was already having a hard time doing one. So let's just stick with one, one very simple. And these jeans, you know, they're not half bad. I think the jeans that, the they're, I think they're called bell bottoms, I don't know. <laughs> but these hot pink bell bottoms, you know what? They're not that bad. They could be cute. I also tried a different eye style. So this eye style, the eye is more slanted and almond shaped. So I'm very happy with how that turned out. I mentioned this, but I really haven't ever drawn ponytails. So this was fun and it doesn't look as awkward or weird as I thought it would. Now I'm just heading straight into fine lining. I use my Ohuhu fine liners in 0.7, I believe. And just going ahead and fine line this whole drawing. Um, for the first, for basically this whole drawing, I was not liking how this was turning out, but I, I just couldn't abandon this sketch. I knew it had potential, okay? So I kept it, and I'm really, really, really happy with how the finished product turned out. I think it turned out super cute. So definitely stay till the end so you can see how the finished drawing turned out. I get super nervous when I fine line it because if you guys haven't seen this video, um, it will be in the iCard above. Um, the video where my mom, I draw my mom's favorite childhood characters, well, I had to do that drawing three times because I messed up on the fine line two times. So now I'm always very cautious and careful before I draw, but before I fine line because it, it, it's hard. It can be hard and very nerve wracking. And, you know, if you do a slight, if your hand, you know, jumps a little bit, then basically the whole drawing is ruined. You can fix it up a little bit, but it still is hard. I'm about done with fine lining. And for the small details like the tiger, the jewelry, and the lips, I go in with my 0.3 just so it's finer and it doesn't look very blobby. At first, I was really embarrassed about this tiger because it looked so terrible. I don't even know what it looked like. It was just... It, it was destruction. It, it was trash. So I very tried very hard on this tiger right here when I'm fine lining. And you know what? I don't, I, I can't say that I hate it. Okay, so on to the coloring. For this drawing, I used my shuttle art, my keyboard, and my new Ohuhu brush markers. I know, I have a lot of markers. I have an obsession. Okay, okay, let's not talk about my obsession with markers. As you can see, I try to make her skin a bit more darker because I've been practicing with light skin tones lately and it's time to be practicing with the darker ones. So here is actually a picture of some lighter skin tones that I've been practicing with. That is a guy, yes, I, I drew a guy, you know, <laughs> from my fairy story, which I've probably mentioned before. And I am actually, for the skin tone, I am shading with my Ohuhu brush markers and doing the base of the skin tone with my shuttle art markers. And lately, I've been trying to put little pupils in the eye. You couldn't really see in this one since her eyes are very dark brown. But I tried to do a little dot of black, and I really like how that style is. So now doing the hair, my favorite part, I'm doing it potato brown, the infamous potato brown, and shading it with the raw umber. It matches a little too well with her skin color, but it's okay. I am going in with this kind of light grayish yellow color for her shirt. I could not find a great color for the shirt for the life of me. So we're just going with this one and shading it with my shuttle art markers. And I lifted 
up my paper to see that my marker bled through onto my background. Whoopsies! So I grabbed my protective sheet so the marker won't bleed through. And my favorite part was definitely coloring in the jeans. Now, as you can see, what I did here is I colored in the jeans. And I used a couple shades of a color to shade because I was trying to shade it in a little different of a way. So I used this more coral, coral corally pink <laughs> color to shade. And I also used a darker red, but very, very blended that out so it wasn't too bam in your face <laughs> and i also use a orangish yellow just so the colors can be more cohesive with the shirt and i think that really really looks good and it's very very summery and i think it's so cute also time for the white gel pen highlight my favorite part doing it on the lips the eyes a little on the eyebrows just all over the place making it adding it till i just think it looks good which I go really overboard with it, but it makes me happy and it's a lot of fun. And that's all what matters. And here's a finished illustration. My thoughts on this drawing, I really love it. I don't think the combination is too terrible. I mean, I even try to add some of this into the pants just so it could be a little color cohesive and i think the white gel pin really brought it all together and the tiger didn't turn out half as bad <laughs> i really like how i put some yellows in the pants and stuff i think it looks super pretty i cannot wait to see how nicolina's sun drops and jellies turned out i think they're going to turn out so cute let's just hope that we didn't get the same stuff because you know what, it would be fun to see what other people get. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And like I said before, their videos and their channels will be linked in the description down below. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe down below with post notifications on to become one of my moons. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!